Welcome to Off Grid Path and today I'm actually going to be reviewing the Nortent Labo 4. Now I don't usually do reviews but this tent is, well, you're going to see. So first of all, I'm going to reel off a few specs from the tent so you just get an idea of how big it is, how much it weighs, etc. So let's start with uh, the minimum weight it can be is two and a half kilos. That's without the plugs or the poles like the pegs or the center pole. The two and a half kilos minimum weight, maximum weight, which is including the pegs, pole and guy lines is 3.9 kilos. Its height is 193 centimeters in the center part, obviously and diameter is 363 centimeters so just over three and a half meters diameter so now that we've got the specs out of the way let me give you my real life experience with this tent i can honestly say that this tent is hands down by quite a long way the best tent i've had out of all of the tents i've used in my time it's a TP style tent, um, very spacious, very easy to put up. The material is really lightweight. So aside from the kind of canvas TPs that you see quite a lot or the bell tents that you see, it, I, I would I'd put it in that category of tent in terms of bell tents and, and TPs and things, but it's a much, much more lightweight version. So it uses a fabric called Sil Nylon, which is not a cheap fabric, but it's fantastic. Lightweight, strong, extremely weather resistant and wind resistant. When you compare it to bell tents, canvas bell tents and uh, TPs and that sort of thing, it's difficult to compare, but it is in that category because of its size and shape but it's a completely different tent. It packs down, well, maximum weight 3.9 kilos, which is nothing when you're, when you're comparing it to the standard bell tents and things like that. And then it gives you over three and a half, 363 centimeter diameter. So over three and a half meter diameter. So it's really, really spacious inside. I'm six foot five, which is about 197 centimeters tall. So I can't stand up in the center, that's a bit of a shame, but you know, this, this isn't a, it can be used as a base camp tent, but it's used as a, a walking tent. Like it, it doesn't pack down really small, but it's light for what it gives you. I'm gonna run you through what I really like, because what they've done in designing this tent is use a vast amount of experience and they've, it's just, I think the brilliant thing about this tent is all of the little details that they've used, and there's a lot of them. Let's start with the inside. They sell it in sections, so you buy the tent, and then you can choose whether you have an inner for the tent, or whether you have a floor, because some people that might wanna buy this sort of tent, it's generally sold as a hot tent. They make a stove as well, which I'm gonna be doing another review on completely separately about their stove, is they sell it in sections. So you buy the main tent, and it comes with an aluminium pole, but you can get a lighter weight pole if you really want to shed some weight. Then you can choose whether to have your floor and an inner tent as well. Now, the beauty with both of those is floors are the bane of camping, I think, when it comes to tents. And what Nor Tent have done is create a half floor, which is genius. It's not even half floor, it's probably two thirds, two thirds floor. So they've left the entrance way or one of the entrance ways completely open so that you can come in with muddy shoes and keep all your wet gear and dirty gear on the ground. And then you can keep your ground sheet sort of two thirds floor completely clear for, for putting your sleeping bag and, and things on like that. And that's a really nice touch. It's well thought out because otherwise you have to do the awkward thing of sort of opening up the, the tent sitting down on the ground sheet with your feet outside half in half out take your boots off and really try and manage the the mud or wet so that's just a lovely well thought out design which you don't see very often so the half floor is fantastic and i would highly recommend it and that is really easy to install it just clips on the side um, with with buckles that you just clip straight on and then they're all adjustable so you can tighten it up or loosen it off as, as much as you like in terms of the tent itself, um, the build quality is amazing. It's incredibly simple to put up. They do a really fantastic instructional video on how to put it up. Um, but once you do it once, the first time, 
the second time and, and all the times after that, you've basically got it dialed and it's super quick, super easy. Um, and one of the nice things that people don't generally talk about is when you pull the tent down, there's no ground sheet to worry about. So you take the ground sheet out while you're in here. Um, it's generally dry because if, if you're using the stove, it's, it dries everything out in the tent. Um, but you can take the ground sheet out, fold that up, the tent's still up. So when you bring the tent down, you don't have to worry about the floor or getting that. It's just a super simple, just fold everything over really quick to put up and take down. Now the little details that I really like, um, every single vent and opening has a insect screen, like a mos mosquito screen, which is great. And then you've got your outer door. The vents are really nice, really easy to use, solid, and everything works perfectly. It's just a fantastic design, very simple, very spacious. One of the nice things is they put these loops up at the top and I've just, you can see here that I've just strung a bit of paracord in these just to have it as a, as a washing line because when that stove is hot, the heat up at the top of the tent is, I mean, you, you couldn't stand up for a long time because it's just so hot up there, but perfect for drying things out with the, with, with the wood stove just because it sucks the moisture out of everything. So that's a really nice touch to just uh, put those loops in. They'd be, they've been thinking about little things like that. The flu jack opening is fantastic, really strong, great material. The build quality throughout is just fantastic. And this, which I didn't even think about, it's kind of a protector screen that the, the ground sheet goes over. So you never have to worry about any water coming through or dripping down. Um, it will always go underneath. And then they've got the snow uh, flaps outside in case you need to pile snow on if you're camping in the snow. It's a very, very well-built tent. Not the cheapest, but also not the most expensive by any means for what you get and what material it is and how lightweight it is, even down to the quality of the pegs. The pegs are fantastic, solid. You'd be doing very well to bend any of those pegs because they are really, really strong. I, I don't normally do reviews and I just wanted to do a review of this tent because it's just brilliant. I mean, it's, it's a game changer for me. It's so lightweight, so easy to put up and take down. And when you're in it, you've just got lots of space. It's, it's great, especially if it's raining outside and you need to kind of, you want to hunker down in the tent, you've got a lot of space. It's called the Lavo 4 and they do a Lavo 6 as well. So it's four person and six person. I would say this is comfortable for two people, really comfortable for two people. For four people, it's possible, but it's going to be a bit of a squeeze. I mean, there's still plenty of space, but it's, it would be a bit of a squeeze, but for two people, it's perfect just in terms of the weight and size. I haven't tried the Lavo 6 out, but obviously that will be the same, but just the bigger diameter and height. And I imagine that would be a really, really good base camp tent, especially with a stove in. Really looking forward to doing a review on the stove because again, that is fantastic. And I can't wait to show you some of the details that have been thought out with the stove. But yeah, if you have any questions about Nor Tent and the, the Lavo 4, then please feel free to comment and uh, like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.